Audi TT Mark I 3.2 V6 Fuel Economy Experiment. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to be doing a fuel economy experiment. I'm going to put 30 pounds of premium fuel in the car and I'm going to see exactly how far that gets me. From claims on Facebook, it looks like most people will do around 340 miles to a tank. For this experiment, I'm only going to use the car in drive, no sport mode. The journey I'm going to undertake is going to be a mixture of both rural and urban driving, including some motorway. I'm hoping that this combined cycle will give a true reflection of your everyday driving. So the reserve light has come on just two miles ago. The reason I'm doing this with the car on empty and taking it up to 30 pounds is I feel that the car is probably the most economical when the fuel tank is its most empty. The car I'm using for this experiment is a 2005 Audi TT Quattro 3.2 litre V6 with the automatic DSG gearbox. I will do a future experiment with my 1.8 turbo 225 Roadster, but this will be on the more thirsty and less economical coupe. So looking at my petrol station, there's only one pump that does the Supreme 99 and it is currently 180.9. You probably can't see that, so I will show you close up. So there we go, it's 180.9. The tank, that's now in there. Okay, so I've done 30 pounds and a penny at 80.9. It's given me 16.59. 30 pounds and a penny, 16.59 on that eight. So, there we go. 30 pounds and a penny, one pound 80.9, 16 litres of fuel. So the car's on zero. The mileage is 110177. How many miles have I got left of fuel? 155 now we had 25 before so for 30 pounds it's given me 130 miles of fuel now i don't trust the gauge anyway so let's see if i get 130 miles out of this drive i'm just approaching the dartford tunnel on the first part of today's journey i'm heading into work so far i've completed 33 miles the fuel gauge is saying 175 miles that's interesting because when i filled up it was a lot lower than that so I think the fuel gauge is pretty inaccurate depending on how you're driving. The journey itself has been pretty uneventful. I haven't needed to accelerate hard to overtake anyone. So from an economy perspective, it's been pretty good. I'm nearly there, so once I arrive, we'll have a quick look at the stats. Stage one of the journey is done. Done 40.5 miles. This is 11.3 miles per gallon and 130 miles of petrol left. So based on that, it was saying I had 155 originally, and I got 130. So I've used 25 miles of fuel in 40 miles. You can see the fuel gauge has physically moved as well. It was up by the half before. It's now down to almost a quarter. So that's my day done. I'm heading home to complete the rest of my journey. Again, that's a mixture of local roads and motorways. I've also got to do a kid run to pick up kids from the station. So that would include as part of my everyday driving. It's been 19 hungry mouths waiting for me. Seventy-seven miles into my journey, just about a quarter of a tank. And I've got 105 miles of fuel left. So that's not the end of today's driving with the car. Seventy miles of motorway driving in the UK. I mean, this was clean before I left, and it is filthy. Just to give you an idea, look at the wind noise. It hasn't even been raining, and it's filthy. So I've just headed out to the station. It's about a mile and a half from my house. So this is the bit that I think probably chews through most of the fuel, because I think it's these short, slow journeys that are the worst for fuel economy. There's also this period of sitting around stationary, but luckily it's only the small child I've got to collect as the big child's walked home. As always, he's the last off the train, so it means I sit stationary for longer. Here he comes. Good afternoon, sir. Do you want to make your uh, your debut appearance on on uh, Andy Charger Movieast? Hello. 
That's Aston. So as we head out of the village and into the countryside and into the national speed limit applies, I do tend to normally drop it into sport and put my foot down and give us a little quick squeeze. For this experiment, I'm not going to do so. So sorry, Aston, no extra speed today. So that's 80 miles of fuel completed. So it's another day of dad duties, going to the station for more journeys. So let's get another one done. This is the second journey of the day that this car has done to the station. And I'm off to pick up the prospective, much future owner of this car. Again, I'm driving the car quite sensibly. I'm not giving it too much right foot. So hopefully I'm not burning too much fuel. No sport mode needed. Hi. Hello. But you're on YouTube. Hi. Not live, no. And then you can head off to work for another journey today in the car. So you may or may not know, Cam, but I am doing an experiment at the moment with the car yep. to see how many miles I can get out of 30 pounds worth of petrol. So not a lot. You are right, not a lot. So I am driving. I've been to work and back. I've been to the station and back a few times. So I think it's the small journeys that affect them petrol consumption. Oh, sorry. No, you can't, don't need to apologise, you still need picking up. The next journey is going to be around about a 12 mile round trip to work and back for you. So, yeah, let's man. see how that goes. Penultimate journey of the TT for today, which is the work drop off. Drop. Work drop, dropping cameo work. We're on 86 miles so far on this tank of fuel. So let's find out how far it is to work. And it's exactly five miles door to door. So that'll be another five miles on the way home, which will put us on 96 miles. Rather stupidly, I took my OBD dongle to France last week because it was in the pocket of my jean shorts I was wearing. And in the three days I was there, I've managed to lose it. However, I've ordered the same dongle again from Amazon because it's only £12.99 and it does seem to read all the codes that I need. I have got this engine management light on at the moment, which comes back every couple of hundred miles and it has pointed to a few different things recently. Uh, one of the things it points to is the lambda sensor. So obviously there's a couple because it's a, a V6, pre and post cat as well, I believe. The other thing it's pointed out when we did it with Carl Chris's sensor was the math. The math is a pretty straightforward fix because we can just swap one out for another. Because this problem is intermittent, it would be hard to identify that problem and confirm it's been fixed straight away simply by swapping the math. So 96 miles are completed. We're just over the red on the reserve of the fuel. 65 miles of fuel left. Now we know the reserve starts at 25, so I reckon there's 40 miles left to go. So 96 and 40, about 136. Good to see that the temperature gauge is bang on 90. Okay, so not as good as I thought. At 104.1 miles, the petrol lights come on and I'm down to 25 miles left. So this is about the same point as it was when I filled up with 30 pounds. So it's done. 104 miles on 30 pounds of fuel so let's take a look at how that's calculated i traveled 104 miles on the petrol that i purchased which was 16.59 liters using the liters to gallon ratio of 4.54 i had filled up with 3.65 gallons of fuel so if we divide the 104 miles by the 3.65 gallons then we get 28.49 miles to the gallon so let's call that 28 and a half miles to the gallon. Compared to my rotor, that is definitely a lot lower. Pence per mile, well, that is working out to be around 28.84 pence per mile. So I hope that has given you some insight into the petrol costs of running a 3.2 V6 Audi TT Mark 1 on a typical set of journeys. Don't forget, if you are throwing it into sport mode and slamming your foot onto the loud pedal, it's going to be even more expensive. If you have found this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel if you have not already done so. Here you will find a whole host of content on the Audi TT Mark 1. If you have any comments on this content, then please do leave them in the section below. I do read every single one and reply to them all personally. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.